Hello everyone, I'm Nasis and welcome to my channel. Okay, so today we will going to talk about the similarities of Nigerian and Filipino traits. Yes, there is a lot of similarities. My husband actually told me that Filipinos are the Nigerian version of Asia. I don't know, but according to him, he noticed that we have lots of similarities. Maybe that's also another reason why is it not hard for me to adopt the Nigerian culture. Same with my husband. So let's start. The first one, ice cream container. Hmm. Here in Nigeria, they says that once you open your freezer and you see ice cream, make sure you will open first and don't give yourself a false hope that what's inside is really ice cream. Because once you open, you will see a bono soup, a goosey soup, oha soup, <laughs> or even stool. Same thing in the Philippines. In the Philippines, once you open your freezer and you see ice cream and you have a guest, make sure you will not go in to ask your guest immediately immediately if they want ice cream yes because once you open it and <laughs> It's paxio. Paxio is a Filipino food. That's how we actually do it in the Philippines. The second one, Filipinos also like cheese. You know in the Philippines, once you wake up in the morning and you prepare, you want to go to work. Once you get out of the house and you see this Sari Sari store. Sari Sari store is a convenience store in the house. I mean, you will make part of your house as a convenience store. Maybe it is your garage or whatever part of your house and they will going to sell different items there just like the stores over here but what I notice is the stores over here they like to rent a shop they don't usually put it in their house but in the Philippines of course they want to save money they don't want to rent a shop they will just convert one part of their house to be a store that's where you can buy sugar oil you know we call it tingi tingi means uh, those small small oil um, sugar because once you go to the grocery store you need to to buy those big ones the one that is already packed but in Sari Sari store you can buy those small small items so anyway let's go back to the topic so what I'm saying is once you get out of your house and you see Sari Sari store and you see women hmm, young old you will see them on front of that Sari Sari store as if they have a very early meeting hmm. once you pass there it's either you look down or if you have an umbrella you will going to do like this <laughs> you will going to cover your face so that once they see you they will not going to talk about you so Filipinos also like gist so much well same thing here in Nigeria actually every time me and my sister-in-law will going to discuss we also notice that we have lots of similarities so here in Niger it's the same thing once you get out of the house especially if you are staying in the village well you will see also a lot of them as if they have a very important meeting but right now now, you know, G's also reach technology. <laughs> G's is also high-tech. You know, you can G's using your mobile phones. <laughs> Even in YouTube, you will going to notice that a lot. Those vlogs regarding G's, mm -hmm, they have lots of views. <laughs> Number three, comparing. Filipinos also like to do comparison. I mean, also like to compare people, especially for siblings, for cousins, you know, for friends. If they see you walking around and they know that, you know, you are somebody who always like to, to go out, somebody who's very outspoken, very open-minded, they will start to compare you to your sister who is always at home, who's quiet, who just go to school, school house school and house so that's what they do also in the Philippines same thing here in Nigeria once they see someone or a young lady walking and they know that that lady is also open-minded very free person and she always likes to go to different places she have lots of friends you will hear someone saying that hmm See that small girl, oh. you see her? Why she can't be like her sister? Her sister is always at home. Her sister is well trained. But this this small girl, why she's like that? She just like parambulating herself, going here, there. So that's how it is. So if you have that one here in Niger, we also have that one in the Philippines. 
Number four, disregarding rules. Yes, we also do that in the Philippines. We also like to disregard rules. But this is how we do, especially in Manila. If you're driving and you see a traffic light and you don't see anyone and there's no camera, well, there are some drivers who will go in to beat that traffic light. If there's a sign gauge that says no right turn, well, if nobody is looking, <laughs> you will see some drivers turning right. So that's how we do in the Philippines. Same thing here in Nigeria. If there's a traffic light and there's no eke, ekelebe, or there's no one looking, hmm, you will see drivers beating the traffic light. They don't care about the rules. So what they want is to pass. I've been seeing this post in Facebook asking people who's stubborn, asking people who among you didn't register your national ID card and link it to your mobile number or your cell phone number. Well, are you stubborn like me? I've been seeing that kind of post. Well, Filipinos are also like that. Hmm? If the government will not going to give deadline, they will just ignore. Some of them, they will not going to do at all. They will not. But the time that they need it, they will just go to the office and they will going to make a story. Just make sure that your story is a very, very sad story. That the people who are listening to you will going to pity you. So that's how we do as well. Same thing with Nigerians. And number five, Filipinos also like the sharp, sharp way. You know, apiam way. We like that one as well. Anything that makes things easier. Well, who wants a hard thing, right? <laughs> so Filipinos are also like that. They want things to be done easier. So what we usually do, if you want to process any documents, once we go to the office, we will look for somebody we call partido or someone that you know. Or same thing here, you will also call a friend, asking a friend, do you know anyone who can help me with this? And then the friend will going to link you to somebody. And then you will talk to that person. Let's see what that person can do for you. Same thing here. But the thing in the Philippines is we still have an office where you can go even though you don't know anybody. You can still do that in the Philippines. But you know, there's still a lot of Filipinos that they will try to make things easier for them. Especially if they have extra money. If they have cash. They can just look for somebody who can actually help them. Honestly, our government is fighting this what we call fixers. Fixers are those illegal agents who are actually asking payment in exchange of their assistance. If there's anything that you want to do and you want to make it sharp sharp or there's something that you want to cover up. Fixers are those ones outside the government office. They're just there standing the whole day and once you are walking, they will go to you and ask you, Ma'am, are you going to get the driver's license? Do you want to get it sharp sharp? Do you want to get the driver's license without taking the exam? Well, it's up to you if you want to <laughs> if you want to get a service of a fixer. But honestly, that is already illegal. Well, same thing here in Nigeria. Nigerians also like to do this what we call apiam way. Sharp, sharp. Before you go to any government office, same thing. You will look for somebody that you know over there or somebody that your friends knows over there so that your friend can link you to that person and that person will going to help you. So those are some of the traits that Nigerians and Filipinos are the same or let's say almost the same. That's why if you will going to notice, if you know a Filipina who are married to a Nigerian and if you ask them about adopting to Nigerian culture well it's not that hard for us because we have a lot of similarities well same thing with the nigerians okay so that's all for now thank you very much for staying with me today and i hope to see you again in my next video bye